Hey, BBA family, how are you? Um, wow, it's good to be back. We've been gone for a couple of months, uh, gone from YouTube anyway. Um, I hope you've noticed. And um, anyway, I threw my back out in November, very painful. Got an episode coming up on how to watch your back when you're a full-time RVer. And um, we were able to spend the holidays with uh, family and friends, both Thanksgiving and Christmas. And we've kind of settled in here in the Orlando area for the last month and a half or so just to get some of those important things done like um, doctor's appointments and dentist appointments and just the things that you need to get done when you're a full-time RVer. You need to do that when you're home. And we do domicile here in Florida, so we're getting some of that stuff done. But we're getting back into the swing of things. I'm just finishing up editing our latest episode. It's on um, making artisan or homemade bread in an RV. Um, Cheryl, Brighton, and Daisy uh, spend some time with you on showing you how to make some bread, and hopefully it turns out good. You'll just have to wait and see. Uh, but thank you in advance for liking the episode. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. And as always, we hope you have bright days ahead. Artisan bread, and then what were the ingredients that mommy said? Those in, remember, what's this called? Flour, and then what's this called in here? Salt. No, no, you. you could, okay, you sprinkle a little bit of there, but not much. There, that's good. Just, just, just a pinch. Just a pinch. There you go. And then we have what in here? Remember? Water. And one more ingredient. What was it? Yeast, and that's gonna. You're gonna watch. This is gonna get and really we're puffy. Going, we're going to you already put the water in. I already put the water in. Uh -huh. we're going to turn in dough. It is dough, and uh, you guys can. You want to taste it? It doesn't taste very good right now. You want to taste it? You can taste a little bit. How does it taste? Okay. Well, don't put it on there. Don't put it on there. Yeah, it doesn't taste very good right now, but wait until we put butter on it and we it bake it in like the oven. Play -Doh. It tastes like Play-Doh. Yes, it does. Tastes like Play-Doh. Okay, so now we're going to cover it and we're going to watch it rise. It's going to take two or three hours. It's going to be all day long. It's going to take a long time. Yeah, it's not as much fun as cookies, is it? Artisan bread. So do you guys remember what it looked like before you put the plastic on it? Yeah. So it's been rising for... A little over two hours, so you can let it rise two to three hours. Go ahead and open it up. Wow. Look at it. See how much puffier it is? Yeah, and it has like little bubbles. Do you see the bubbles? Yeah, it's still sticky. Uh, still sticky and it has bubbles. So now, now you can let it rise two to three hours. It's doubled in size. We're going to put it in the refrigerator, and then we're going to have a slow rise because we used fast rising yeast, and this is artisan bread, and we want it to continue to get bubbly and kind of even sour, a little bit like sourdough. So you can take it in the refrigerator from anywhere, six to hours, 12 hours, up to three days. And then it's not gonna rise much more in the refrigerator. You and your sticky fingers. And then we'll bake it. Okay, so we're back. We're still trying to make our artisan bread in an RV. It's easy, but we let it sit for like three days. So you can let it sit for like a couple hours, 18 hours, or up to three days. And the longer you let it sit, it kind of ferments and gets that more sourdough thing, and it gets a lot of air. It is sticky. Daisy's a little disappointed because she forgot that we were waiting on it, and she thought she got to put in the ingredients. And I don't think we showed them that. So Daisy, you're going to help tell what's in here and how we made it, okay? Let's not touch. We did sugar, wash our hands. Sugar? Not sugar. This is... I don't wash my hands. Uh-oh, you want to touch it? You want to wash your hands. Okay. So, what's in it, Daisy? This is flour, right? So we have flour, and then what's this? Do you know? Sugar. It looks like sugar, but it's salt. So we used flour, yep, you can feel it. Flour, sugar, salt, water, and fast rising yeast. So it's only four ingredients. So the water, the flour, the salt, and the fast rising yeast. You can add cornmeal if you want, and we're gonna use that as our pan. Um, you can add that. So let me tell you what we're doing here and then you'll kind of see the step by step. So this has been fermenting for three days after we um, let it rise and it's been in the refrigerator. Thank you, you're putting a little extra salt. Over here we have our oven warming. So I have my RV oven 
Now, if you haven't worked with an RV oven, I always like to go, like if it says like 325, I like to bump it up to 350 just because it's not as hot as your other ones. So that's set to 475, I've bumped it up a little bit. I also have water on the pan, water, hot water boiling over here, and I'll show you how we use that. And now all we're gonna do it's is while cold. we play, it's, it's cold. cold, it is cold. I we're gonna pull this, spoon. you got the spoon? Okay, we're gonna shape this roll. So that's what the girls and I are gonna do. So can you please, I'm gonna make this a little bit of a messy, but can you, uh, you can, okay, use that, or we like use a spoon for the camera. Can I and let's, spoon? You can, can do I one too. So no, shake it I? out. Nope, you can use the spoon now. No, can I? What's the spoon? Oh, you'll see, are you ready? Are you ready? I the part part? You better have clean hands. Okay, go ahead and shake out a little bit. I do it too. Yeah, we're all gonna do it. Okay, and get your hands in here so your hands aren't sticky. Nope, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Oh, this is gonna get real messy, whether it's in your house or an RV. Okay, now we're gonna pull the bread dough out. Look at that. Let's pull it out. Are you ready? Yeah, I use a spoon. Oh, that's good, thank you. Pull that bread dough out. Look how sticky it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot of sugar. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and it can smell. Mm, if you smell, it smells like kind of yeasty. I don't sourdough. think it smells. Okay, so now we put that all away. Okay, we're gonna knead it. I like cookie dough. It's like cookie dough, isn't it? I okay. smell it. Oh, you smell, oh, don't get your hair in it. Smell like bread, a bread. Fortunately, just our family's gonna eat this. Yes. Okay, yep, yep, it's getting sticky. Okay, so let's get it into a round circle. You think you girls can make it into a round circle? Okay, you can pat it. Okay. Can I pat it? You can pat it. I need one. Okay, so we're gonna let it rise for like 20, 30 minutes out at room temperature, so it's still kind of cold. And then, okay, that's enough flour. You don't want it to get too dry. You still want it to be a little sticky, okay? So let's get all this flour off. Yeah. It's going to be a round ball. And we're going to, okay, here comes the exciting part. Okay, no more flour. Okay, you two. Okay, no more flour. Here's the exciting part. Now, this is a sharp knife, so Mommy's going to do this part. But look, we're going to make a design. You ready? Let's get off some of this flour. Make this round ball. Let's get it round again. Round again. Why? Huh? Why? All right, because it's going to be a round ball. We're going to make a loaf. And then it's going to expand, but it's still a little cold. Yeah. But while it's cold, we're going to make little cuts across it. See? Little cuts. And then that's going to make our shape. So, we unfortunately, guess what we have to do now? Wait a few minutes. So this is going to wait for about 20 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to cook it. You ready? All right. You're gonna taste it? Play-Doh. What does it taste like? Play-Doh. Oh, you don't like it? You want some extra? You want a little extra? <laughs> oh, it does kind of taste like Play-Doh. Now, why would we make this? Do you think it's gonna be any good? We yes. should. It might be good when we cook it and put butter on it. Yeah. Now, like what's his outfits? Where'd you get these outfits from? Oh, Play -Doh. Did you I forget? Kitchen. I'm also making dinner at the same time. Okay, don't do anything with that yet, okay? Mommy's going to get you the tray. So we have our oven in here is preheating, and I have our pizza stone, and it's hot. And then underneath here, you can see I have a tray, and this tray is hot, and I'm going to pour this boiling water into it, and it's going to steam the pizza, or the bread, excuse me, our bread loaf, and it's going to make it cook. So, girls, this is extremely hot, so stand back. I mean, no party. You do? Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yep. Okay, let's sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Just a little bit. Not too much. That's probably good. You want to do a little bit more? Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, that's good. All right, now we're going to put our bread on here. No, this is super hot, okay? So I don't want you to get hot. So, this bread is like already sticking, so I kind of reshaped it. So we're going to try to put our bread. Right like that. Don't touch it. Okay. Now, wave bye, bread. Bye, bread. Right. Bye, bread. Let's cook. I hope you're going to be yummy soon. All right, let's put it in here. And then watch this part, girls. You put it in the oven. You're going to put the all lights on. Yeah, I'll put the all lights on. I'll put that light on. Now, watch. Put that light on. Now, we're going to pull this part out. And look what Mommy's going to do. <coughs> Whoa. You want to pour hot, hot water. See how it's steaming? 
Yeah. That's what we want. So we're going to pour that hot water in here. Steaming. Why do you put a hot water in here? So it's going to steam. Got a lot of steam in that oven. Oh, this is where my pan doesn't quite fit. It's going to steam for a little bit more because I spilled some of it. So you want your oven really steamy. Okay, you still got a flame going. And close that up. So now all that water, see, it's gonna get steamy and it's gonna make the bread brown. So we're gonna leave it in there for 20, 25 minutes and that's gonna give you that hard brown Why crust. Why is going to brown? Well, the bread is gonna brown when it's hard. Well, in general, just so you guys know for prosperity, you're not supposed to open an oven when it's cooking because then it lets all the hot out. But I'll let you guys speak, okay? So let's look. Oh, oh it's, it's super hot, super hot, but let's look. Oh, let me see, I'm gonna touch it. It's getting hard, but I'm not seeing the browning I one. touch it. No, it's very hot, step back, okay? I'll let you look. What I think we need to do is, like you do in a lot of it, is you have some hot spots, oh, careful, hot spots in your oven, so you kinda gotta turn this around. Ah, careful. I just Shaking Don't it shut it yet. A little bit. I'm no, scared. I'm shaking it a little bit. A lot going on. It's not cooking in this house until you set up the smoke detector at least once or twice. We had baths. We've had dinner. We had a boo-boo that we had to take care of. And now we're checking. When the smoke detector came on, I was like, oh, no, we need to check our bread. So this is our bread. And it's been, I think I'm right at 48 minutes. It was supposed to be 20 to 22 minutes. You see, this is cornmeal, and that just got brown. But you can see, I think it looks pretty perfect. And let's try I don't around. like the other side. I like this side. Oh, which side do you not like? Oh, because this one, oh, but that's okay. It, but it's doubled in size. Now, this didn't call for much flour. It was only about three and a half cups. So I don't know if that's why it's small, or maybe I failed at the RV Artisan Challenge. But Yay! it was something to do with the girls. This is Nala. Uh, Something to do with the girls, and you know, it sounds like really, but can you make artisan bread in RV? Jury's still probably out. We gotta taste test touch it. The pan. Yeah, you can't touch the pan. So, I don't know. In theory, it looks like artisan bread. Um, we haven't tasted it, so the jury's still out, but it's hard, it's brown, we love it. And it was something for the girls and I to do. So, we'll have to see how it tastes. Um, but I mean, we made this bread over a couple days. We let it sit. We made dinner. We cleaned up our room. I we had a shower. Sugar, a little bit. sugar? No, we didn't put any sugar with salt. You put a little salt in it. Okay. Just a little bit. And who was my helper? Me. Yeah, and Brighton. Yeah. So we gotta be careful. But I don't know. We'll give it a taste test, and we'll let you know if you should make artisan bread. Maybe it could be a I thing, a challenge. Like artisan bread and RV hashtag. Tag me on all your pictures. The time to test our bread. It's still warm and it's hard, huh? You like the color? Yeah. Oh, it's so hard like a rock. It is hard like a rock, yes. Hopefully it's not hard like a rock on the inside. And then I'm gonna cut a little piece off for both of you. Do you guys want any butter on it? Yes. Yes? Okay, I will put a little butter. Wait, Do you want the heel? Good crunch, all right. And then, oh, look at our board. Oh, this, this little thing I just had laying out. Do you know who made that for us? Kick it. Oh, that is, is that the outside? Yeah, that's the outside. Aunt KK made that for us, my incredibly talented and sister. And made a bright days head decorations. She does make bright days ahead decorations for us. So this is from her store, Etsy yeah. store. And so I'll put a link below, but she can make, I mean, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So it's like a little cheese that? bar. I don't know, that's the magic of Aunt KK. She could tell us how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. All right, you wanna taste this? Do you want bread on yours? Yeah. All right, you taste that one. Bread on yours. Okay. That's for you. Well, I was gonna do this piece. How would it be? Oh, that's a good, oh, that's a good hit. Is it good? Good. All right, let's see. Okay, Daisy. Oh, my crust on the bottom is really crusty. That's good. Okay, so can you make bread in an RV? Yeah, what do you think? I, yeah, how are you taste um, it? Um, 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 what do you think, Dee? Can you make bread in an RV? Yeah. You like it? Is it good? All right, let me try. 
It is really good. Taste it, Dad. Taste it, Dad. Mmm. 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 It tastes like sourdough. No. Hey. Oh my I think we won this challenge. So challenge accepted. If you can make better artisan bread, this is gluten, carbs, this has everything, all that stuff in it. But you let's see if you can eat us. <laughs> uh, if you, I did make a funny face. See if you can make artisan bread in the RV. Huh? Ah. No, raise your waitress and my uh, uh, chef. You're a chef? Oh, okay. A waitress and a chef serve food. Oh.